I'm Jamie Young, owner of Real Results Medical Weight Loss, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to draw up your B12 injections into your syringes when you purchase them to administer to yourself at home. So, without further ado, I'm going to draw up some of the Lipo B12, also known as MCB12. So, before you draw, you are going to use the alcohol prep pad to clean the top of the vial. Always do that. These don't have to be refrigerated, um, but you don't want to keep them in the windowsill or anything. You want to keep them in a temperature controlled environment, okay? Your needles are going to come to you just like this with the syringes. And um, so I'm going to kind of give you the three areas that people go wrong when they're drawing up at home. So the first thing, I took these out of the package already. The first thing is that this junction right here has to be very tight, okay? So the needle is very sharp and can go through the cap. So you always want to put a downward force onto the cap when you're drawing and, and working with your syringes and needles. So you're gonna tighten this up. And so I'm gonna kind of show you how you loosen it, right? So it unscrews from itself and you always dispose of your needles in a, in a safe way. So don't throw those away. Trash men don't like needles. You're gonna make sure that this is really tight, okay? So the air number one, this isn't tight. Air number two, they forget to put air into the syringe. So the air, um, it's an airtight syringe. So if you forget it one time to put the air in to pull the substance out, that's not gonna be a problem. But if you forget um, that second and third time, it's gonna feel like you're trying to get cement out of your B12 file, okay? So here we go. Uh, I am ready, I'm gonna pull the cap off. I'm gonna put the um, needle into the syringe and then I'm gonna put the air in, then flip it over. Now, here's the, um, so the first thing, the first one is the junction that people forget. The second one is not putting air into the vial. And the third thing that people do wrong is that the needle is too far into the vial because the B12 comes in through um, the very tip of the needle. So as you can see, there's no B12 coming out, so I need to put the air back in. Pull back on the needle, and we're gonna draw up your B12. So for those of you at home, pink is gonna be your Lipo B12 or your MCB12. Orange is gonna be your Super Lipo B12. And red is gonna be your Methylcobalamin B12. So I'm gonna go past um, the two to make sure there's no air bubbles, and then I'm gonna go back up so that the plunger um, the very top of the plunger is at the number two. It's kind of hard to see right there, but then I'm gonna pull this on back. So I'm gonna show you one more time. Always cap very carefully. And so I'm going to tighten this junction, tighten the junction, move it forward and backward, line it up to the, your dosage that you're looking for, and you can do two mLs one time per week. It's a very standard dose. The maximum you can do under your doctor's supervision is two mLs, two times per week. So always get your doctor's um, dosage on that. And so I've got the air ready. I've got um, the junction nice and tight. I'm gonna flip this over and this is the fifth one in my vial. So I'm gonna have to pull that needle almost all the way out of the vial in order to get that last drop of B12 into the syringe. So if you pull a little air in, you just have to go back and forth until you get it fully in your syringe. And that's how you draw up your B12 in injections. If you don't have a place to get your B12 injections that you can administer to yourself at home, you can actually go over to my website at realresultsforlife.com and click on services and injections and you can purchase them right there and I'll ship them to you. Once you're an established patient and that's super easy, quick medical history, consent forms, and then I um, make a follow up with you, make sure that all is well. And um, I'm going to do another video on how to administer your uh, LIPO B12 injections, but that is how you draw them. So happy injecting.